Yo. Yo. <laughs> we are on the way. Yeah. Mango Loco. What's up everyone and welcome back to another video. I'm pretty excited today. I'm with Theo and we're at Arlanda, which is Stockholm's airport, and we're gonna travel all the way across the world to Auckland in New Zealand. And that's gonna take like how many hours? Like 30 hours or something? I yeah. think so. It's gonna be such a long time. I actually just started timing two and a half minutes ago. I put on a timer and then I'm gonna check back with you guys when we get to the hotel in Rodrua and we're gonna see how many hours it is. I'm, I'm guessing on 30 hours. At least. Yeah. yeah. Like, oh, that's, that's insane. I'm gonna be dead when we get there. And it's gonna be sick. We're gonna do a bunch of videos and we're gonna film everything. It's gonna be sick. I'm excited. Are you excited? Yeah, I'm super excited. Have you ever been that far away before? No, that's, that's gonna be... Nice. Thank you, monster. Yeah, huge. We're sending Theo with me. <laughs> we managed to get... We managed to get a full row each. Okay, so we made our first flight, which was six hours. Now we're in Doha, and now we're about to board after just one hour in Doha. We're about to board an 18 hour flight. Oh. I thought the six hour flight was horrible because I had a screaming baby behind me, and now we have an 18 hour one. What's the timer? 18 hours, that's almost a full day of just flying. Let's see, we're up on eight hours of traveling. This is gonna be a tough one. Kinda ran into Lucas Club and uh, Torquato Testa here in the airport. Well. Yo guys, what's up? <laughs> Long flight ahead. Yeah. 18 hours. <laughs> Finally here, after that insanely long flight, that was actually a bit too much, but we're up on 26 hours, 26 and a half hours. Oh, oh. my god. <laughs> here finally oh okay let's check how long it took my brain checked out like 24 hours ago and i can't really think about what i'm doing at the moment but we're closing in on 33 hours oh. so i was kind of close when i said 30 right yeah yeah but to be fair i've been, I've been going here for the last four years now so we take a quick nap and then build our bikes up and ride around town right yeah that would be sick nice we kind of fucked up <laughs> it is now wednesday and yesterday when we got to the hotel we we said that let's just lay down for a little bit in the bed and take a power nap and then we fell asleep and uh, woke up the other day <laughs> <laughs> so yeah yeah we kind of screwed screwed up today is wednesday it's currently 8 30 and we got practice at 12. shell picks us up at 10 so i'm gonna build my bike up get ready and then we're gonna go check out the course and have our first practice sesh. It's gonna be sick. No, when we shot you... We are on the vlog. Hey, we are on Max Ferrickson's vlog. <laughs> Hello. Max, you don't want your camera anymore? Yeah. I can have it. Nice smile. It's just like this kind of serious, but you can't smile. Like that. Like, you want to smile? <laughs> Green screen is pretty yeah. tight inside, so don't go like this. Yeah. <laughs> Action. <laughs> yeah, come on. The crack works a little bit slower. We're signed up. We're here at the venue, and we're gonna check out the course a little bit. We. Yeah, we got like one hour left until we have a riders meeting and then right after the riders meeting we have four hours of practice. And the conditions are actually super sick. 
Just a little bit of wind from the side coming down in the bottom part. Other than that, looks pretty mint. Look at the size of this long and low jump. <laughs> Huge. What we're gonna try to do now when we're doing the course walk is to like give you guys a perspective on how huge it actually is because when you see everything on the live feed or on like clips and stuff it doesn't make any sort of justice at all this trough is huge i'm gonna walk right next to it so you see it yeah that's huge all the way over here now look how steep that this is this is super steep the small step up up on top of the on and off is like big the lip is bigger than any lip we have in Sweden yeah <laughs> it's insane we're gonna try to capture as well like the speed of everything because everything is just like way faster and way gnarlier in real life not a wall right curved barn logs pretty big as well not the biggest one we've ever had in a slope type course but it's still huge still super big yeah. okay so now I'm gonna demonstrate how Huge, the biggest jump of the course is just the, like the landing itself. Insane. Massive. Absolutely massive. What do you think, Teal? First time seeing this all this. This is just unbelievable. <laughs> can't, can't realize you're it's like doing your tricks on this. It's so this is the biggest jump on the course. More. And all the way up to the landing is like scary but fun it's not just scary and huge it's like the best jumps I've ever ridden like build wise it's so like calculated and everything is just like perfect and lines up good insane you mixed these <laughs> Jesus This is where we like usually just hang out all the riders between runs because when we go all the way down then we got a car that are driving us up again and then we go through the woods here and then we hang out here like drink water and talk smack <laughs> apparently it's locked now there's a lock here so we can't really walk down and show you guys but this is the roll in this is where i start this is where you are so nervous that you feel like you're gonna pass out here just like as soon as you drop in, everything just like goes away. It's pretty, pretty weird, but yeah. step down and then... Probably have the first riders drop around 12 minutes after I signed. Just a way to warn you. Oh, oh, no. Come on. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, no worries. See you guys. You. Yeah, yeah, no worries. Yeah. The practice is on now. We it's kind of gusty down here, so we we don't really like. No one's riding the lower part of the course, but we're gonna ride the top part until like the barn log, and then yeah, fill it out and see how the speed is and stuff. Okay, I think I'm gonna I'm gonna follow Matt Jones down because he already ridden it. It's like going 10 times faster than I do to the dome airbag. So it's pretty like weird now in the beginning, but it's gonna be sick. It's fun. Scary, but fun. Are you really need to shit? Are you really need to sleep? Like something super important? So you're just waiting for the shit? Yeah, I'm waiting to be super shit more needy. important. Go have a crazy dump. Can I follow you or are you doing crazy tricks? I'm not doing anything crazy, but I'll follow from too close. I'm gonna be... If they can, probably the shit is confronting you. But then I, I stop after the log. 
Yeah, me too. I'm going to the left. Okay. Don't go there. Okay. Goodbye. Stand it. So we are done with the first practice. It was sick. We kind of, yeah, we had four hours of practice. Everyone was just kind of cruising through and learning the speed for everything. Learning the speed for everything and just like feeling everything out with some flips and a couple of combos, but nothing like super crazy. I think everyone is gonna step it up every day and do it more and more throughout the whole week. We still got Thursday, Friday and Saturday to practice before the contest on Saturday evening. So we have a ton of practice left. This was just get used to the course and to the speed. Everything is so much faster here than it is when I ride like an airbag jump at home. So yeah, it's definitely different, but it's so much fun to ride a real course again. And I'm super excited for, for the week. And I feel really good on my bike. So I'm super stoked at the moment. But uh, about the speed and style. <laughs> Apparently they had practice this morning and me and Theo were just jet lagged and slept through the whole practice. So we are gonna do the speed and style tomorrow, but the contest is tomorrow and we got one hour of practice before we're starting with the qualifying. So we kind of screwed ourselves over when we slept in, but yeah. I think we could manage to qualify. It gets me kind of nervous, but Yeah, it's your maybe. first like big contest and first crank work, so I get that you're <laughs> really nervous, but... I think we're done here. I think we're gonna end the video here because it's four o'clock in the afternoon. We're gonna go home, shower, do some editing and just go to the pool and hang out with all the guys. And then uh, we're gonna load up with some food, stretching and then get ready for tomorrow because we have another full day of riding tomorrow with speed and style and then slope style practice and then speed and style again. So it's gonna be a heavy one tomorrow. I hope you guys liked this first video from Crankworks. It was kind of a journey from Stockholm all the way to Auckland and then here to Rotorua and then first day of practice. It's been a hectic last couple days. Yeah, for sure. But yeah, we're here now and I'm super happy to be here. And uh, yeah, we're about to have an awesome time. Hope you guys like this video. Leave a comment down below what you think and what you want to see in the future. And uh, yeah, leave a like and subscribe to my channel as well if you want. Other than that, I think we, we got it all, right? Yeah. Yeah, cool. S nice riding today. Thank you. See you guys in the next video in like two days or something. Yes. Peace.